Hey, what's going on guys? So back with another unboxing. Finally got this in. All right. This is my Microsoft Duo. Now you see Dana across the front. That is the uh, people who do the taxes at immigration. I'm sorry, not immigration, customs. Okay. This had been sitting in customs for almost three weeks. That's how long it's been sitting in customs. Uh, so finally got it delivered. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, and do this unboxing of the Microsoft Surface Duo. So they've obviously opened it and put this stuff on it because they didn't know what it was. <laughs> Even though they sell it here in South America, uh, they didn't know what it was. So I bought the AT&T version okay so you seeing this the first time I'm seeing it I don't know if they took all the plastic off or what but they opened it up because they wasn't familiar with this so I know they looked at this and they opened it up because of all the other unboxings I saw you normally would see it sitting this way with the logo so here it is the Microsoft Surface Duo I'm gonna set that to the side now I did pick up the AT&T variant. So let's see what else we get in the box here. Uh, from everything that I saw, this should be the bumpers. Yep. So those are the bumpers. Okay. And then, uh, let's see this box we have, this looks like it's gonna be the charger. So yeah, we got the charging brick here, which should be, I think, 18 watts. Yep, you can see it right there. It's an 18 watt charger. Okay. And then this, of course, should be, what is this? Oh, SIM tool and a start guide. Something I'm never going to use. May use the SIM tool to take out the AT&T card. Because like I said, this is the AT&T version. And then the last box in here should be the power cord. And this is a long cord. I think it's almost six feet long, this cord right here. So you get the Type-C to Type-C with the charging brick. Okay, so that is everything in the box and here's the duo okay so I did pick up some accessories here a skin from soapy guard that I'm going to put on matte screen protectors that I'm going to put on and then I picked up this uh, wireless keyboard as well as a stand that comes with it because I plan on using it when I'm trading um to make it a little bit easier especially when traveling as well here in the country and last but not least i picked up this inexpensive pair of headphones from skull candy the evo sash wasn't sure if i was going to keep this uh, after i use it for a while because i'm gonna do a complete series on this but wasn't sure if i was going to keep these so i didn't buy the normal bauer and wilkins or the sony wh wh x 1000 xm threes or fours so i bought these instead they're like 60 bucks they're decent i've tried them on my samsung phone but i was never gonna hold this thing up to my ear so that's why i got these earbuds so i'm gonna put this stuff on guys i'll be back and let's see how it all works out okay guys i am back let me get my camera a little situated here okay so we now have the soapy yard skin on along with the bumper so this is going to be a little bit of a learning curve for me i do have microsoft products so i'm accustomed to using microsoft products i currently have the surface pro 6 this is where this pin comes from and it will work over here not an issue so like i said it's a little bit of a learning curve so this is just an unboxing and uh, first impressions using this so the pen, if you have a Surface Pro device with this pen, it will work. So that's, that's not an issue at all. 
and as you can see it's very very responsive so not an issue using your pen uh, as far as it pin sticking to it because it is magnetic so yeah the pen will stick so you have that but yeah just just like I said it's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve with this getting used to all the different gestures and things that it does I do like the double screens already at the gate as you know it is football season so you know watching football is one of the things I love to do um, now right now it'll spread it across and you can actually get three games on at one time I'm gonna just show you real quick during the two so this is full screen on one and then say I get a game on YouTube the Alabama game here so you get the two games going let's take that out oops so you get the two games going at one time so as you can see right there now there is a way I hadn't quite I did it one time but I hadn't quick, quite figured out how I did it but there's a small box you can put here and actually get three games going at one time so I already love that I love the fact too that uh, when trading you know I can have an app open over here for trading and I can be buying and selling on the other side so this is perfect dude if you are a small business owner of any type uh, for your PDA you know your personal device assistant your personal yeah assistant device or no it's personal device assistant getting it backwards and um, you need something like this man this this thing and I'm just first impressions with it right so I haven't had any quirks yet obviously I just got it just open it up just put these on and then I did get this stand right here to put it on and I also bought this keyboard and it connected up pretty easily so I could be somewhere and say I wanted to edit a video or whatever oops got it backwards no that was right so say as you can see I just pressed a button and it came on but it's it's very responsive as you can see just using that keyboard so these are some things that I picked up extra for it now that part I don't like you know that's why this pencil is going to come in handy sometimes when you're swiping with this thing it's, it doesn't really get my touch maybe that's because I got the mat on it but it's working great I have no complaints because I can open notes and just write with the pencil or type with the keyboard I have that little piece and uh, it works great so the matte screen protector I just picked it up off Amazon for nine bucks the skin is soapy guard it's a soapy guard skin um, very easy to put on now I never heat any of my soapy guard skins when I put them on I know you're supposed to but I never heat them so but they've never come off uh, I got one on my iPad Pro and it, it doesn't peel or anything and it's been on for almost six months so I expect this one to be the same way so it's not very hard to put on I didn't want to put it on camera because it's dozens of people have done it already but I just wanted to share my opening experience with using the uh, Surface Pro and how easy it is to open close it and use it uh, just getting used to having it in hand uh, I haven't had any quirks so far with a lot of the things that I've seen other people complaining about but um, yeah I mean I'm probably gonna end up changing my wallpaper I just threw that on real quick because uh, it was the closest one that I had in my Google's photo collection but I'll change that to something else the next time you see it. But I'm going to do an entire series on this device. And uh, hopefully you guys are following me on this journey. So Surface Duo, uh, day one. I'll probably come back in another 
24, no, 48 or 72 hours and give you guys an update, let you know if I'm still liking it or something has happened where I've changed my mind. But until then, guys, I am out. Peace.